recognize that not every store in our chain is the same size or even the same shape. What we are really talking about are well-organized department modules, and that concept will benefit any store, regardless of size or shape. As our customers enter your Radio Shack store, this is what they should see, a clean and effective look. Immediately to the right is the computer department, and here I'll turn you over to David Frager, the buyer for the Tandy 1000, who will give you a tour of the computer department. Hello, and welcome to the computer department. At the front of the computer department is the Tandy 1000, displayed with the DWP-220 or the DMP-130. You may either display the VM-2 or the 16231, but you should always have the Tandy 1000 on. With the VM-2, Deskmate should be on the screen, and with the 16231 color TV, you'll have the Tandy 1000 demo running. Right above the Tandy 1000, software is displayed in categories. Productivity on the bottom shelf, education on the middle shelf, and entertainment on the top shelf. As you see here, we've displayed the packages so that you see the fronts of the most attractive ones and you see the sides of others to save space. We've put the software in categories. However, many customers will ask for these packages by title. The Tandy 1000 will always be in the front of the computer department, displayed closest to the front of the store. On this side, the color computer, displayed as a full system, including a color TV, a cassette recorder, and a joystick. A software package with a free running demo should be on at all times. A perfect example of that type of program would be Dungeons of Daggereth. Notice that the color computer software is also categorized. Just above your color computer system, cartridge software. As we move down, education and entertainment software. Next, there's a shelf with a second color computer, which is hooked in through the color TV through a splitter. All of the other peripherals, disk drive, joysticks, multi-pack interface, plug-in power, and cassette recorder are displayed nearby. During Christmas, you'll probably want to hook up a second color TV to the color computer, so you can have two demos running at one time. Underneath, we have more software for the color computer. And, as you see, we've got the Walt Disney software categorized together and the Spinnaker software together also. Once again, we've got some software facing the front and some software sideways, so you see the spines. In the middle, separating the Tandy 1000 and the color computer products, are all of the printers and color computer disk software and other peripherals, such as the power strips and modems. This is also an ideal place for computer books and any Model 4 and Model 100 software. Because of their size, the Model 100 and Pocket computer products will be displayed in the glass counter up near the cash drawer. Remember, merchandise should never be left on the floor. The floor should always be clear and all items should be displayed on the shelves or the gondola. The gondola, out front, displays the color computer software you want to spotlight in your store. On the rear side of the gondola, are supplies and accessories, such as dust covers, ribbons, diskettes and diskette holders. Remember to use on-order tags, so when you run out of merchandise, you can reorder quickly. Again, looking at the color computer display, we are showing the color computer as system of the month. Since you will be alternating system of the month packages between color computer and the Tandy 1000, you will only have this sign here every other month. On alternating months, you will have the sign next to your Tandy 1000 system. The next area, on the right, is the audio department. Michael Latham, the audio buyer, will conduct you through that department. Welcome to the audio department. First is the stereo system of the month, and it will be right out in the very, very front. In front of the rack systems, the very first thing your customers will see as they enter the audio department. Behind this, there will be two additional racks, system 600 and system 800. For the first time, Radio Shack has introduced a full-blown rack system with separate tuner and amplifier with built-in equalizer, cassette deck, turntable, speakers, and rack. These are complete systems and will be right behind the system of the month on the floor to be demonstrated. The particular display configuration shown here is comprised of carpeted modules converted to displays with two shelves, and you'll be supplied in the future with the necessary brackets and shelves to convert your store over. We also show here an example of a wing wall for compacts and boom boxes. However, you may have a straight wall display, and we'll show you that just a bit later. What's most important in our display is the way that items are grouped, with all receivers together, all speakers and other like products grouped together. Notice that we've taken our three top-of-the-line speakers, 
the Optimus 400, the Mach 2, and the T120 Tower and group them together. These speakers sell more as a general rule than any of our other speakers. Grouping them allows us to enable the customer to perceive the difference in sound between these speakers. To demonstrate your speakers, use two receivers and attach two pair of speakers to the STA2500 A and B speaker outputs. The STA780 will drive the third set of speakers on A, and a set of speaker wires on B will drive any other set of speakers that a customer might want to hear. In addition to demonstrating a receiver and speakers, you should have one deck, one equalizer, and compact disc hooked up for demonstration. Instead of having individual systems with system prices, we're showing complete lines. This is a new and different approach so that a customer at a glance can look at our entire receiver line, our entire turntable or cassette deck line, and know that we are truly in the audio business. If you have a flat wall display, it will be set up in a manner similar to the modular display. Similar groupings, but arranged as regular shelves on a flat wall. Next on our tour is the video department. Dave Shoemaker, video buyer, will take you through the video department. Welcome to the video department. This is truly the year of the video explosion with Radio Shack's five new VCRs, a new 19-inch stereo high-resolution monitor, and a complete line of LCD TVs. It appears to be shaping up as the biggest video year yet for Radio Shack. Video is a visual medium, so it is very important that all of your television sets and VCRs be displayed and operating. The video display area should be set up so that the large screen television sets are on the top of the display, the smaller screen television sets are on the second row of the display, the VCRs are next followed by processors and selector switches. Now, because of the introduction of stereo VCRs, stereo television, and the stereo TV receiver, this year a hi-fi receiver and speakers will need to be incorporated into the display. It's important to have all of your VCRs hooked up so that they can be switched to either the 19-inch or 13-inch monitor. The amplified video selector switch should be used for the low-end product and the new video audio control center used for the stereo and hi-fi VCRs. Certainly the biggest excitement this year in the video marketplace is the introduction of stereo products, both VCRs as well as television sets. So we now have the true marriage of audio and video. The display should reflect this marriage. The sound of your stereo VCRs and stereo TVs should be playing on hi-fi speakers and video from your VCR should be plugged into one of the monitors, either the 19-inch or the 13-inch. Be sure that your low-end VCR is hooked up to one of the monitors as opposed to one of the inexpensive television sets. This will show the VCR's playback capability in its absolutely best light. The TV100 stereo receiver should also be hooked up with its own set of small speakers so that it can be demonstrated. Make sure your video sound processor and video processor are hooked up to your low-end VCR. This finishes our tour of the video department, so let's go back to Chuck Sizer. Chuck? That's a tour of the departments on the right side of our model store. We'll complete our tour with a brief look at the departments on this side. On the left, we have the telephone department at the front of the store. Everything is grouped. Answerers, standard telephones, speaker phones, decorator phones, intercoms, and accessories. This is a new addition to our telephone department, a telephone tester which will allow the customer to pinpoint any problem with their telephone equipment. Next, we have clocks and clock radios. Notice that every clock display is lit up so the customer can see the difference in the displays. Remember, as with any of our products which require an AC power supply to maintain the correct time, make sure they are in separate circuits from your lights so you won't have to be resetting them every time you open the store. Next to the clock radios are the radios. Portables, novelty, tabletops, short waves, weather, stereo mates, and headphone types. All angled, like other displayed items, towards the entrance of the store. Remember, whenever an item is put on a shelf, batteries must be installed, so it is capable of being played the instant that the customer picks it up. This is an approach which allows a customer to have more hands-on experience with a product, and, obviously, sells the item much faster. The front glass display contains calculators and small timepieces. They are displayed in four basic groups. All battery-powered calculators should be displayed in one grouping and displayed by price from the lowest to the highest. The solar-powered calculators should be displayed as a group and also arranged by price. Be sure that when you demonstrate the solar calculators that you do so in a place that will give you enough light to ensure their proper operation. Next, tabletop models, printers, desktops, all arranged by price, from the lowest to the highest. 
The scientific calculators should be arranged as they are in our catalog, and our clock displays should also be grouped as they are in the catalog. The battery clocks are usually on display in the showcase. All of them should have batteries and be set for the correct time. Next to them are watches. When anyone is interested in the clocks or watches, be prepared to demonstrate them and show the customer how easy they are to set. Don't forget, it is very important that the showcases be kept clean to show your merchandise at its best. Speaking of cleanliness, it's just as important that the floors and all department areas be kept free of loose or misplaced items. The ashtrays should also be clean, and the merchandise and shelves should be dusted regularly. Cleanliness is essential to the overall image we convey to our customers. Next are CBs and scanners. CBs and scanners should be displayed, like most groupings, in price point order. At least one CB set should be hooked to an outside antenna and turned on for demonstration. All the scanners should be turned on in scan mode. One should have some frequencies programmed into it and set up so that the customer can hear its performance. The auto sound department should be ready for demonstration. The auto sound line offers more units than there are spaces in the display. So always display your best units and be sure to have your auto speakers on shelves next to the auto display. In security, all major items should be displayed on shelves and a working display should be set up at least with a panel siren, a key switch, a strobe light, and a magnetic contact, so the system can be demonstrated. As we finish our tour of our model Radio Shack store, I'm going to discuss our blockbuster displays and the proper use of signs throughout the store. This year, we are introducing this new multi-level blockbuster display. As you can see, it offers greater impact and takes up much less floor space than three individual stands. Another innovation this year is that we will hang one of our 17 and a half by 15 inch blockbuster signs above each display using monofilament fishing line. Obviously, the other signs in your blockbuster kit will also enhance our impact, and the sale tags will call attention to the merchandise in its normal position. It is very important for you to read the blockbuster planogram, which is sent to you each month in your POP package. The three examples of floor plans help you properly position the blockbuster displays. Attention to the details included in the planogram will aid you in creating the kind of sale image that will make your customer want to buy. And remember, the blockbuster should guide the customer through the store, not prevent access to other items. This is our as advertised sign. The sign should be positioned at the front of the store. Its purpose is to reinforce the current newspaper ad which a customer has seen at home or at work. You will receive a schedule every month telling you which ad to display as well as a copy of the ad. The back side of the sign does something else, too. It tells the customer about our warranties and lets them know that we stand behind what we sell. This is our stereo sign. It's designed to allow you to price any stereo system in your store to show the system savings. The topper should be placed on the top edge only. The exception would be when we are not showing the savings, the topper may be inserted in the regular price slot. Three other toppers are included for you to use in special promotions and should be used when additional signing is required. You may use these signs for as advertised, manager specials, or red tag items when no other signs are provided by Fort Worth. This is our 11 by 14 vertical card holder with flat base. This sign holder is to be used for the stereo system of the month and for the computer system of the month. It shouldn't be used in any other way. We have several generic signs. These are our city line per month signs. One comes printed at $20. Any amount priced from $100 up to $489 is covered by that. The other city line per month sign allows you to write in the monthly payment for larger purchases. This is our manager special sign. And this is our red tag sign. And this is how they should be displayed. Use the red tag only during red tag sales for greatest impact. Use the manager special at all other times on SOWG and discontinued items. This is our small parts sale tag. It is designed to hang on the peg in front of carded items that are on sale. And these are our attention getters. The sale burst, the new burst, and our special burst. These really stand out when they're used well. Be careful not to use too many at one time or they will lose their impact. Finally, this is our glass shelf edge sign holder and this is our wood shelf edge sign holder. They can be used in easel positions as well. This completes our tour of our model Radio Shack store. 
Obviously, the configuration and shape of your particular store may not be the same as the model store you've just seen. However, the display suggestions we've made should give you an excellent beginning as you make your store a model store. The image your Radio Shack store presents, merchandise, displays, and signs, creates a total impact which will certainly let your customers know they have come to the right place. Radio Shack. America's corporations are known throughout the world as centers for innovation, creativity, and technological superiority. Nowhere is there a stronger leader in its own field than Radio Shack. Radio Shack has grown from only eight stores to almost 9,000. It is the international leader in consumer electronics. When you joined Radio Shack, you became an integral part of this outstanding corporation. Your ability to serve your customers reaches far beyond the immediate business transaction. Your work directly impacts the company's future as well as your own. Your success is our success. Radio Shack recognizes how valuable you are and has made a commitment to support your sales in a variety of positive ways. We offer you a conveniently located store designed to attract customers a quality product at competitive prices, advertising support, service for the product and our National Radio Shack guarantee, international recognition and a superior image, and City Line Revolving Credit, a very important sales tool that makes your merchandise more affordable, desirable, and convenient to buy. City Line is a product of Citibank, Maryland, a subsidiary of one of the world's largest financial organizations, Citicorp. In 1982, Citibank and Radio Shack joined forces to bring you CityLine, an unprecedented credit system designed to generate high-ticket sales. This is the first credit card in the country from a major financial institution for a major merchant, which has exclusive programs and benefits for both. CityLine's success is a well-known fact. The Citibank branch in Baltimore, Maryland, and the Denver Credit Center work closely with Radio Shack. They've processed millions of dollars in sales for Radio Shack customers. People with the CityLine card come back again and again. They know they have buying power at Radio Shack and that their business is always welcome at Radio Shack stores, participating dealers, and franchises nationwide. CityLine is convenient to use, provides customer identification as a loyal Radio Shack shopper, builds new and repeat sales, increases customer buying power, and CityLine makes price a positive product feature so you can sell up. The terms are attractive too. There's no annual fee and no down payment. Customers can repay their balance at any time with no penalty or take up to 33 months to pay and their credit line can be used over and over as long as payments are made on time. City Line is your most important sales tool. Now, it's up to you to use it. Well, bud, what do you think of our videotape so far? I think City Line has just about every feature we need to help us make super sales. Don't you agree? Yeah, I do, but I'm not really sure how it works with the sales presentation. You've had a lot of experience with City Line and customers, I think I have a lot more to learn. Well, succeeding with CityLine is simple, once you know the guidelines. I tell you what, let's open up the store, and when the first customer arrives, I'll present CityLine and you can watch. Now, of course, the only way you'll ever really get good at it is to practice it yourself. Oh, here comes the first customer now. Now watch as I introduce CityLine into my sales presentation, and then we'll discuss specific sales techniques later on. Okay, great. Good morning, sir. My name uh -huh. is John Wynn. I see you're looking at our top-of-the-line phone answering machine. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if I need a deluxe machine, but I, I would be interested to compare machines. Mm-hmm. Well, do you often travel far from home, 
Or do you just need an answering machine for when you go out for short periods of time? Well, I do travel quite a lot. Uh, why do you ask? So I can help you select the right machine depending upon your needs. By the way, what's your name? Marty, uh, Marty Sharp. Nice to meet you, Marty. As I was about to say, our deluxe model allows you to call for messages from anywhere in the world using a remote feature. This other model here is of the same high quality, oh. but does not have a remote capacity. So you see, the model you select does depend upon your needs. Well, both seem fine, but a little too expensive for me. Uh, you know, I saw this unit, or a comparable unit to this, at, at a phone center for $100 less. Well, they may seem to have similar features, but the quality of our machines is excellent, and they are backed by Radio Shack's service, support, and guarantee. Marty, if I can get you this answering machine today, fully supported by Radio Shack Guarantee for just $20 a month, would you be interested? Of course, it sounds like a great deal, but how? Such low payments are available with the exclusive CityLine card from Citibank. The CityLine revolving credit plan gives you credit in any of our Radio Shack stores nationwide. Well, it's another credit card. I, I've got Visa and several other cards. Uh, how much is it going to cost me? Not a dime. Really? CityLine has no annual fee, requires no down payment, and CityLine helps you keep your Visa or other credit lines open. It even helps you budget your cash as well. Well, okay, but I don't know which unit I should buy. I, I do like the deluxe features here, but I don't know if I can offset the difference between that and the basic unit and justify it. Marty, on CityLine, your monthly payments will be the same $20, regardless of which unit you buy. Why not get the one you really want? Makes sense, doesn't it? How do I apply? Well, it only takes a few minutes to fill out CityLine's convenient application. Uh -huh. It's really very simple, especially since you already have a Visa or a MasterCard. Oh. Citibank has a special credit now process for an initial purchase of up to $500. And once you've given us the necessary information, I call Citibank, and in two to three minutes, we should have a credit decision. Well, that sounds good, but before we go further, I am interested in two cordless phones. Now, with that purchase, I'm going to be over $500. No problem. No problem. If you wish to charge more, CityLine offers a standard credit process for major purchases of up to $25,000. Hmm. Approval for these accounts takes only about 40 minutes. And with the two cordless phones, your monthly payment should still only be about $25. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Well, not really. Uh, you covered everything. <laughs> Fine. If you'd like to browse around, it'll take only about half an hour or so for me to call the application into Citibank for your total purchase. Well, I was going to go next door and look at some clothes. Uh... I'll call your application oh. in while you shop. Hey, be sure to ask for Don when you go next door. I will. He'll help you find what you need. Now, Marty, if you'll just step over here where it's quiet, we'll get this application filled out. Okay. See how easy it is to sell with CityLine? Our customers really benefit from all the features. There's no annual fee or down payment required. CityLine can only be used at Radio Shack, giving the customer added buying power. CityLine keeps other credit lines open and monthly payments low. The customer has up to 33 months to pay. And credit now is quick and simple for purchases between $100 and $500. And a regular process covering major purchases takes less than an hour. One last CityLine option available at our computer stores is called online credit. It enables a qualified customer who has a valid Visa or MasterCard to charge up to $2,500 for computer software and hardware in just about 15 minutes. The way you weave CityLine's benefits into our product, well, it makes it a natural winner. Well, that's right, particularly if a customer has a price objection. Did you notice how he started to worry about cost when we first discussed the price of the phone machine? Yeah, he said he'd seen one at the competitors for, I think, $100 less. That's correct, but I was able to overcome his objections by offering him a low monthly payment plan that really gave us a competitive edge. Exactly. Once Marty could justify our price in the long run, <laughs> you were able to introduce CityLine's other benefits and that clinched the sale. Well, since price objection is the biggest obstacle to a sale, you must change the customer's focus from cost to a quality product, from overall price to low monthly payments, and from doubts to a positive attitude about CityLine's benefits. You have to get the customer interested in the product first, and then wrap up the sale by presenting CityLine as the preferred method of payment, using CityLine's excellent financing package as added benefits. Now dig deep into the customer's objections and get them out into the open. You'll discover that if you deal with them individually, you can overcome each one. Use CityLine to handle price objections and you've got it made. All that's left is closing the sale.
Oh, but that's the tough part. What's your technique? I treat the city line application like money in my pocket. It motivates me to close every sale. Huh. Never really thought of it like that. But still, we can't control whether the application's approved or not. Well, that's true. Not directly. But the city line application, when filled in properly and completely, has a good chance of approval, as I showed you before. Now, let's get back to our customer. It looks like he's done filling out the application. Now, watch. Well, Marty, it looks oh. as though you're just about finished. Let's go ahead and check your application, make sure all the information is correct, and then I'll phone the application into Citibank. First, I'll need to see a driver's license with a picture. Oh, sure, right here. Here we go. Great. Okay, everything looks in order. It should take 30 to 40 minutes to get a decision back from Citibank. Okay. I always keep Citibank's phone numbers handy. As John connects into Citibank computerized phone system, his call, if not answered immediately, is placed into a specially monitored queuing system. A computer continually checks and counts each incoming call. Among other service quality measures, it reports the number of calls holding and how many seconds the oldest call has been on hold to ensure that each call receives prompt attention. Citibank, are you phoning in a new application? Yes, I am. Has the customer signed and dated the application? Yes. Thank you. Did you see a picture ID? Yes. What's your store number and the state you're calling from? 010-968-TEXAS. What is the purchase amount? $584.53, including tax. Customer's name, please. Citibank is fast and efficient. As Mr. Sharp's application is processed, the computer operator first checks to see if the applicant has a previous account. Each line on the application is input as the salesperson relays the pertinent information. It is important that Citibank be given complete and accurate information in each area. The applicant's driver's license number, financial references, along with account numbers and signature are of utmost importance. Once all the data is taken, the store is given a reference number and told that he or she will be called back within the hour with a decision. Once the vital information is in the system, Mr. Sharp's application is printed out for review. The bank, equipped with the latest computer technology, reviews and evaluates the information. A credit bureau report prints out the customer's credit history. The final decision is made using a computer with a special credit scoring system that recommends an acceptable credit limit. As soon as the approval is verified, a city line operator phones the store with the results. Regarding the new application from Mr. Sharp, it has been approved. The account number is 310-745-7217. The authorization code for the purchase of $585 is 31234. And the credit limit is $2,750. Great. Good news. It's been approved. We did it with CityLine. That's terrific. I can really see the benefits in using CityLine. I'm going to use it more often. It's a great way to boost sales and profits. Here comes Mr. Sharp. Watch as I complete the transaction. Congratulations, Marty. Your application has been approved. Good. You have a credit limit of $2,750. Right. I've already filled out the transaction slip, and I've entered your account number. So if you'll just okay the paperwork, the answering machines, and the cordless telephones are all yours. Okay. You'll be getting your CityLine credit card in the mail within 30 days or less. Well, thanks. I'm really impressed with Radio Shack and you. In fact, I'm going to call my friend Ed up and have him come over and get that VCR he's been wanting. Hunting. Great. We'd love to help them out. With CityLine, it's a breeze. Sure is. But say, if the application isn't approved, how do you break the news to the customer that he's been declined? Well, most applications are approved. But if there is a problem, Citibank will send the customer a letter within 30 days showing the reasons for a decline. This personal information is sent directly to the customer and will not be given to us over the phone. Just remember, a decline is not necessarily a reflection of your customer's credit worthiness. It could be that CityLine's credit standards simply don't fit a particular individual's credit history, or that the credit bureau is not up to date and lacks correct information. Tell your customer that any problems can be cleared up by writing to the Citibank customer service address listed on their letter. 
When treated properly, the customer doesn't feel embarrassed and you're still able to pursue the sale, provided the customer has been properly sold on the merchandise. Go ahead and offer another means of payment. If appropriate, Citibank may suggest the customer apply again with a co-applicant. If it is declined, what do we do with the application? Well, write declined across the bottom of the application and send it in with the others. Okay, I think I've got it. I've learned an awful lot today. Is there anything else you think I need to know? Well, yes. Unfortunately, not all customers are as trustworthy as Mr. Sharp. Credit card fraud is a multi-billion dollar business in the United States. And when the customers try to cheat the system, we all lose. What can we do about the fraud? Well, there are several things we can do to protect ourselves, the customers, and Citibank. Work with your customers to be sure everything on the application is complete. You must always check ID carefully. Match signatures on both the driver's license and bank card, if applicable, with that on the application. Also, watch for expiration dates. Be sure the customer signs and dates the application and transaction slips. Be sure all forms are legible and written with enough pressure to go through all copies. The application is not valid without a signature and date. Next, check the customer's bank card to the warning bulletin in your store. When you phone an application into the bank, keep CityLine's number out of public view. We don't want anyone impersonating you and making fraudulent requests. Be sure the transaction slip you write up is exactly the same amount as the purchase you called in for approval. Each transaction slip has a separate authorization number. If you add or delete merchandise, you must obtain another authorization number. This is for your protection as well as for your customers. And finally, if the store doesn't have the desired merchandise in stock, do not have the transaction slip signed until the merchandise is available. It's not only illegal, but we don't want the customer to be billed until the merchandise is received. You see, interest is charged from the day the purchase is made or from the first day of the customer's billing cycle, whichever is later, unless the customer pays the current bill in full before the next bill. If you don't bend the rules, City Line will work for you. I got it. Oh, wait a minute. This application and transaction slip may get misplaced. Remember, it's just like cash in your pocket. If you lose it, it's as though the sale never took place. At the end of each day, all completed applications and transaction slips must be mailed to City Line in this self-addressed envelope. If they're not sent, the customer won't be billed, you won't be paid, and this store will be left with missing merchandise. Wow, that's serious. You bet it is. It's so important that we have a tape of Dave Johnson, Director of Finance, talking about missing deposits with us. Missing deposits are of great concern to Radio Shack management as well as our store personnel. When a deposit is missing, your store's profit and loss statement is directly affected. As a result, your bonus, as well as your district, region, and divisional manager's bonus is less than it should be. This represents an unnecessary expense that can be easily controlled by the efficient handling of paperwork. Every store must mail the city line deposit daily. The accounting department will then perform a simple reconciliation to compare the amount you transmit on your data report with the amounts received on the city line settlement tape. When the two match, your profits are guaranteed. Your bonus will be correct. Your cooperation is necessary to control this expense. Let's all work together and control missing deposits from all stores. Well, that's it. What do you think of City Line now? I think it's great. Your demonstration has really helped me to understand City Line. By weaving the benefits into our sales presentation, we please our customers, increase Radio Shack profits, and advance our own careers. You've got it. Now, let's review the basics one more time before we go back to work. First, make City Line a part of every sales presentation. Have the customer fill out the application. Check ID and signatures carefully. Call in the information on City Line's toll free number. Write down the customer's reference number on the application. Wait for the bank to call back with a credit decision. Do not call them before one hour has passed. Upon approval, enter the account and authorization numbers and credit limit. Make certain every transaction slip is filled out correctly and is legible through each copy. Have the customer sign and date all forms. If declined, write declined on the application. Tell the customer a letter of explanation will be sent within 30 days. Be sensitive to a customer's concern for privacy and embarrassment at being declined. At day's end, mail all transaction slips and applications to CityLine. Now that you know what CityLine can do for you, make a commitment to use it on every customer. With practice, it can become a very profitable habit. It's all up to you. CityLine, 
your credibility card for America's technology store. A winning reality. America's store, America's card. For your growth, your success, your future, all it takes is for you to ask for the card.